you look at my scan tool right now, what we've done is a graphics capture mode of APPTP in a duty cycle command attack motor. Now, what we did here, we did a wide open throttle power break. And what we're after with the engine running, obviously, is to look at the duty cycle command attack motor. Normally, what you will see on a wide open throttle power brake, obviously with the parking brake on, your foot on the brake pedal, in reverse, is the fact that the duty cycle command attack motor should never consistently stay above 35%. Now, what you will see, that initially it might jump way up there very, very briefly, 90, 95, 99%, but it'll drop drastically to about 30% on a good tack motor. So look at my scan tool right now. This is a wide open throttle throttle power brake condition, the gas pedal's nailed to the floor, the TP went to WOT, wide open throttle, and you can see the maximum value of the duty cycle command attack motor only hit about, oh, 27% maximum duty cycle command. Now remember in the real world, when you do this test, you may momentarily see it go to 99, 95%, but it'll drastically drop down to below 35% on a good strong tack motor. That's the good example on this 2015 Chevy Equinox. Okay, let's look at a bad example of a capture on a scan tool here again in a graphic mode. We're just doing a light power brake condition. Notice that the TP is about 6%, RPM is up there, you know, a little bit above 1,000 RPM. But on top of the screen, on the red trace, notice the duty cycle command attack motor is obviously consistently staying above 90%. This is a red flag a tip off that you have a weak tack motor. And obviously, as you well know, when you have trouble with electronic throttle control, more often than not, it's an intermittent problem. And you know, the customer drives the car down the road at 45 mile an hour, and every now and then inter intermittently, he loses, obviously, electronic throttle control. This is an example right now of a snapshot showing a weak tack motor.